Okay, uh, door blew open. This is bad. And it's a little wind today. I don't know. Look, I went and, uh, what did I do? Oh, I bought the newspaper. <laughs> I bought the newspaper over the weekend. We can figure out this voting stuff. And, uh, no, because in the middle, they, they had a, well, you know how the, the political parties have their thing. But also, I, I looked online, saw a sample ballot, because today's, and look, I voted in Chesapeake today. I voted, right? Um, so this is what they had a little insert in there for just the Democrat Party. How do we, we uh, how do we take Chesapeake into the future then? But the, the candidates have is for, uh, yeah, they say, uh, the candidates, because this is the the midterms, but they, uh, they you know, they're voting for the, the congressmen. They're not doing the senators this year, and uh, city council, city council there, and uh, school board. So let me get this together so I can do this Instagram real quick, and we'll come to the little straighten up my Bronx cap. I got Bronx got to represent. Come on. Yeah, I voted in the Bronx, that's right. First time. There we go. Okay. Um get ready. Bronze cap, correct. Stylish there. Okay. Getting my stylish here, like that. Got my little thing like that. Hey, in South Africa, all the kids, you know, they wear, they're like beanies, but they all styled up like that. So I feel, oh, hey, oh, my goodness. I was talking about the thing, but I've been walking around. Let me get, um, let me get ready. Here we go. Hey, Instagram, it's me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet. Well, I voted, oh, look. Yeah, I voted today. Yeah, I'm a big man. I voted today. Uh, and and, and um, I'm telling you, your vote count, dear. It sure do. Um, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's funny to me. Okay, see, I first started voting in the Bronx. Yeah, but I didn't do it when I was 18. Because when I was 18, 18 years couldn't vote. They can go to war, <laughs> but they couldn't vote. You know, I was, I, you know, in fact, I, had, uh, I was in the Air Force, right? When, when, uh, uh, when, in fact, I was like, I guess they, they did it in like 72. Yeah, I think 72, they gave eight. Uh, used to be 21 was the age to vote, you know, 20 or older. But then they loaded to 18 because like in World War II, people say, hey, these people are dying and fighting. Who would I have it? How come they don't have to vote? And then, of course, then, then the 60s came along. And like about 65, I was only 15. So I wasn't worried about no voting, right? But, you know, those people down south, you know, the people got beat up and boom, 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 boom. They say, we got a war, we got. And so they, they got they got this voting right as so they can participate as full citizens in these United States of North America, right? And so they were very happy about that, 1965. They were very happy. But still, the young people, <laughs> the 50-year-olds, the 60-year-olds, 70-year-olds, up to the 21-year-olds, you know, they couldn't vote. But that, somewhere in there, you know, right, the young people, see, the, see the, when they talk about the anti-war protests or they talk about moving, there's a lot of stuff that was happening. It's not just anti-war. There's justice and peace. There was all kinds of things. And one of the things was like, hey, if they're young enough to, to die, they're old enough to vote kind of thing, you know? And so like, in, I think it was 71, 72, somewhere in there, I think it was 71, uh, we got the right to vote. Like a, like a, it was like the summer of 71. We got the right to vote. Oh, I know, because 72, I voted. Now, I was thinking now, I was, I, was, I was at McGuire Air Force Base. I don't think I got an absentee ballot. I, maybe I did or didn't vote. Maybe I was just, I knew I voted, the first time I voted was in the Bronx, because I, I, that was my home thing, right? And I think I went up there. I'm not really sure. 
but um, because I could do that as a McGuire, I can just go up to New York anytime I feel like it because I had it that way, right? No, but I was working on. Uh, I don't know what happened, but what, what attracted me to voting is we had the old booths, right? And he had this, this long arm. And, you know, it was like one way, but when you went into the booth, you whoosh, push this arm, whoosh, and the curtain closes, yup, behind you, right? And then you're going like, hey, that sounded good. Audio drama, sorry. That sounded good. And so then you did hey, these little clickers. You go click, 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 and to, to indicate what you wanted. Click, 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 click. That sounded good too. Hey, audio job. Then when you finish your look, you say, oh, that's, that's what I want to do. Then you washed it back. And I think that was zoom and gone. And, and the curtain opened up. Hey, man, it was fun voting. So my thing was, so when I started voting, I wasn't, I wasn't really concerned who was winning, who, whatever, I guess, you know, whatever it is. I know. I do know one time I was, <laughs> much later in, in the 80s, when I was, uh, early 80s, when I was living in Somerville, New Jersey, <laughs> they had the voting things, but they had, if you wanted to write in, for instance, they had the, the pen was below the curtain, so people would see if he was going to write in. Oh, they have a lot of tricks with those kind of, this was in Jersey, South Jersey. Anyway, my thing is like, I wrote, but, but but now at this well I knew this for a long time I participated in politics a little bit uh, early, like 84 when 83 84 when, when Jesse was running and stuff like that so I, I was hanging out with you know the the, the likes up there at, uh, and the, you know up there at the J. Raymond whole with the whatever club up there in Harlem you know uh, that's when uh, what Denny Farrell said to me he said you know what it is to be a politician you see where the, you see where the crowd is going and you jump in front of them ta da doesn't that perfectly sound like that's what it is? But this day and age, that whole thing has changed. You would jump in front of them, at least do their bidding. But this now, you jump in front of them so that so that you could do the bidding of of your of, of the people who gave you money to jump in front of them. Instead of jumping in front of them for their reasons, you jump in front of them for the reasons of the people to give you money. You see, so voting really isn't voting. So say, but brother, why do you vote then? I mean, you out there trying to hand out even hand out stuff and. And people and, and people are saying, no, I don't vote because they lie. They're all liars. Yeah, well, they're liars that control your money. I don't, okay, we'll get on set. But the point is, here's why I vote. First of all, I like voting. Well, I shouldn't like, I like going to the polls. That's what it is. And if you're going to, if you are going to vote, there's, there's strategies you should do to vote, right? But I do it because I just enjoy, I enjoy the, the drama of it all. You know what I mean? Because I know it's not a voting, I'm actually polling. You know, I'm, I'm, in other words, that goes down as a real record for now and forever. They'll put, they'll, they'll, they'll oh, in, in, in such, such time, in, in, you know, in the South Bronx, the boy voted like this. In, in Somerville, New Jersey, he voted like that. And in, 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 uh, in Chesapeake, Virginia, he's, he's voting like that. So they can see what I'm doing. That's data collection, right? But they see what I vote for. But also that becomes a, per, a real record. Somebody 100 years from now looking up records, then they're going to they, they can look at the Cusack poll or whoever poll like that. But that is like, that could be fabricated, right? But this is like official, you know, government seal, right? So, because I have to do a little research now, what happened, though, um, when I've been handing out some of her stuff, she came by the neighborhood, right, so I got, I got, so I said, okay, let me, let me remember that name, she had respect, I, I ran into her, maybe it's some sort of like, a, you know, spiritual thing, you know, it's, it's a, a sign, <laughs> even though we don't vote on Sunday, we should vote on the weekend, it'll be that real sign, so that, but Tuesdays, um, I'm retired, so I can vote, that's why they get the older people, right, okay, so, but, so when the newspaper came out, Oh, they had sent me this thing week, weeks ago. This is like a, your election information may have changed due to census-related re, uh, redistricting, and it did. I like that. So that, so so they sent me a thing, so they reminded me that I was voting in this district or whatever have you, okay? Which means that my congressperson has changed. Now my congressperson that, that's up for election was uh, was Bobby Scott, the infamous Bobby Scott to me, right? He's part of the, the Congressional Black Caucus, but he does the bidding of some Asians. I guess he has some Asian blood in him. Could you imagine how the, when they first came to say, well, you know, maybe the Black Caucus will have you, you know what I mean? And so they all went to the Black Caucus. Oh, you know, we need mice too. And so then the Black Caucus, when they used to be black coffee, now they like all kinds of colors, coffee and that thing. You, you, you're you not drinking black, you drink it colors, you, know, you see what I'm saying? So forget the traditional black caucus. They 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 didn't strayed from the original pulpit purpose. Just like just like America. Well maybe not America has it. But they always want it. Okay. So I look in the paper, so the, the Democrats have this little insert here. The people that's that running for for the Democrat Party for city council and for school board. So naturally I look at that, then look at them and see who's Republicans are, blah blah blah. So I decided because on a ballot, oh you know oh here. 
Oh, and then when I got to the when I got to the uh, what do you call that uh to the polling place, the little people before you get in, they hand this out. This is the Democrat. I didn't see no Republicans there. So Mike Robert C. Bobby Scott, District 3. So he's House of Representatives. That's what we voted for today. Then we have Chesapeake. These Those four people I showed you. Then then Chesapeake School Board. There's three. Um, then there's a special election. So I looked all that stuff up, right? So I decided because they say on the ballot, um, don't, uh, for instance, they'll say, um, they'll say on the special election, vote for one, right? They'll say, or school board, they'll say vote for whatever they say. Right? On, on the city, on the city council, Oh yeah, special election they say vote for one. That's just, uh, like that. The school board they'll say vote for whatever they say, right? And just the city council they say don't. You can vote for up to five people. Now these are just four to five. It's just like ten, five, whatever, six, seven, whatever, whatever it is. But if you can vote for more than one, that means if you just vote for one, that's more weighted because you haven't you haven't sort of diluted the, the pool that that person gets a bullet. You see? So I said okay. Now since this sister came, and I see what her credentials are, but here's what. Here's, me, here's why I voted for her. It was her first time. Da -da, think about it. It's her first time. So they ain't got to her yet. The sponsors ain't got to her. They, you know, but it must got to her a little bit because it's this kind of election stuff with this little bag and a, and a beautiful fly, red back and blue fly. You know what I mean? This is this is pretty sophisticated. It takes money, right? So I figured she's got some backing from the Democrat Party that put her up and things. So she, so somebody's you know got 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 her skirts. Let's put it that way. So I figured so, but she's first time. She's new a newbie. So let me just vote for her. Things single like that. Okay. Then on the special board thing, the school thing, this guy Jer Jeremy Roden described this right here. I looked at all those credentials there, and they said uh, they said basically he's. Uh, He's a substitute teacher. Well, he's been in education, but he's a substitute teacher. So I said, okay, out of all those people, I sort of, you know, well, I sort of like, I didn't do, I, I don't really do black, well, I guess I do do black politics, but whatever. But um, but, but, but I said, I'll vote for that because I had two other categories. You know, this, this, the uh, Congress category and uh, and the, uh, what's the other, the Congress? Oh, and the school board. And the school board. This is the special school board, school board, the, the city council and the Congress, those are the four categories, right? So let me take two of those categories. So for House of Representatives, Bobby Scott, I don't like him anyway. I don't care if the Republicans take over. That's just me, right? So I wrote in, I wrote, because you can write in, I wrote, I, oh, oh, it's on this phone. I can't show you because I took a picture. But, oh, it's posted on the Instagram and I, I, I posted what my election thing is. So just follow this thread, follow me. Go go to me, and you'll see you'll see what how I voted, right? So under the uh, uh, United States House of Representatives, vote for one. I wrote in because they had to, like seven, no, not seven, but four or five spaces to write in. So I wrote, I I colored the thing for write in, and I wrote reparations, R E P E R A G I O S S, and then I put a dollar sign for the S. I put a dollar sign. So I wrote it for 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 the Congress. I wrote that in, right? Hey, hey, come on, just just think about it. Yeah, but if the Republicans take over the House or whoever, the judge, the, they're bored already. They're not doing your thing. Didn't you listen to the Princeton report? No matter what you vote, their sponsors, you know, they they got overlords that are doing their bidding, that they're, they're doing their bidding for, you see? So it ain't going to matter. So I'm going to write reparations. Then, right? Then under, under, under city council, like I said, I, I, I bullet uh, for... Uh, uh, Miss Yearling there, Miss uh, 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 Sintetta Brown Yearling. Uh, her and her husband were canvassing, I saw it the other day. Okay. Then for for the um, uh, for the, for the uh, school board, I wrote in producejustice.com. That's Miss Neely Fuller's website for the, for the book, you know, produce, compensatory concepts. So I wrote that in, right? And then on the special, the special thing, I, I, I voted for this Jeremy Rodden, the substitute teacher. So that's how, and you know, guess what? It make me feel good. <laughs> it's my entertainment for the day. And I did my civic duty, you see? And then I came out and I, I stood at, uh, at this traffic stop there and I, I gave out Try to give out some of these. That was early. I might go back and continue, you know, because the voting is still today. 
uh, not for it, but you know, uh, people. Some people just go by their car; they just ignore, right? Uh, young person, says, uh, they all liars, right? I said, you got that right, you know. Let them go, you know, because I, I don't want to argue with somebody. They, they, they believe that, yeah, they all liars, but so what? What does it have to do with you taking whatever time out or listen? You know, to, to, I feel like telling some stuff. Okay, I understand. So you think they're liars? Do me a favor and vote for how I would vote. Here's what I would do. I put this thing in. I write in reparations. I write in producejustice.com and I and I vote for this other cat. That's what I do. It's fun. You should try it. <laughs> okay, so then, that's it. So that's how I vote. And if you haven't voted well, I guess what what time is it? You know, what what what? Let me, let me touch that phone. Let me touch it. Look. It's in the afternoon. The voting's up to what, seven o'clock tonight, something like that? Uh, yeah, I think it's up to seven o'clock. So, you know, well, you're in Chesapeake. I don't know wherever you are in the country. If you want to, if you want to vote, vote. If you don't, if you don't, if you don't want to vote, right? But you just want to hang out with your neighbors, right? Right? Please go, right? And if you can vote, and you don't want to vote for your whoever you don't want to vote for, right? Just write in reparations for me. You don't have to be any color. Just write in reparations. They'll know what it means. They, they know it means, you know, the reparations for for the the, the, the freedmen, you know, the the uh, uh, American, North American descendants of chattel slavery. They know it's, it's for us, right? So just write in reparations, okay? Just do me that solid. Come on now. Yeah, uh, I'm a, don't I look like a politician, man? I got a ja- I got, got the jacket on, right? Uh, I got glasses, uh, I'm, I'm I'm rocking with the young people. Come on now, don't you just love it? Vote, vote for what I would vote for. Write in reparations. Just thought I'd let y'all know. Y'all take care. See you soon. Okay, that's done. I usually don't do too too live Instagrams a day, I, but you know I. But I. But I did today because it's special day. It's election day. A Tuesday, right? And oh, I'm put vote for me. Vote the brother wants your the brother wants your vote. Ah, the brother wants your vote. wants your Where's the Y? Why? Your capital vote. V O T E. The brother wants your vote. <laughs> oh, let me tag uh, Miss Brown there. What's her name? Uh, Brown. B R O W. And and her last yearling. Y E should come up. A R L Harrison Terra Terra B year Terra Brown year there. I tag her. Let me tag uh, Produce Justice. Uh, P R O D U C E Justice J. That's not. Mm, I don't like that one. J U S T I C E. Oh, here it is. So they have these produced. Oh, it says produced us nearly full of junior. That's what you have to put. I see. That's his thing. So I put that. What else do I put? I said da 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 da. So I put a uh, Virginia Democrat Party. <laughs> no, the DNC. The D N C. Uh, Washington, W A S H. It's not W. N C W W A S H I N G T O N. Washington, no no results found. Okay, so I'm put Democratic National D. E M O C R Democrats. Oh, it should do democracy now. I used to work for them. Now I'll leave it to C. 
see. No, Democrat, democracy. Ah, democratic. Oh, oh, a or a c i democratic. Oh man, let me just leave them alone. I don't care. Like that. I was gonna put Democratic National Committee, but uh, they won't. It's, they shouldn't see that anyway. Okay, now, okay, so that's that. I tag those two entities, and then. Western Branch uh, series would be, uh, let me just put random randoms, boom, 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 and Bob's your uncle. There we go. Let me, somebody's sending me something. What's this? Oh, CBD. So uh, you see the posting I did? I was at the antique place. Uh, I was doing the, the band. Oh, the pod, I'm talking. To, I'm talking to YouTube right now. You know what happens? This is behind the scenes. I recorded. I record the uh, the Instagram on the YouTube, and then therefore the YouTube gets the whole. You know, I'm basically archiving what I did on Instagram on YouTube, and also what's the name? Uh, my uh, BitChute picks up the YouTube feed, right? Then I go to BitChute and get that URL and I put it in the comments for the for the Instagram. So if you want behind the scenes, the full story, then what you do is you see it on Instagram, but then you can cut and paste the BitChute and see the background of what all the st stuff that I'm jabbering right now. When I'm not, in other words, on, on it's like everybody when you own that those things when you're, you're a trittery or or you're a Facebooker or, or you're whatever you are, right? Basically, you know, you're sort of like how you say, you're sort of like, you know, I don't know, and this to, morning to, to, the way I got up, playing a role, right? Okay, so people are leaving the house, so let us leave right now. I'll check you all later. Bye.